Section 8.2, Properties of Parallelograms. Now that we've looked at polygons in general, we're going to focus on quadrilaterals. A parallelogram is a type of quadrilateral. It is a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides parallel. So what happens is we're going to have one pair of parallel sides and a second pair of parallel sides. This is going to lead to a number of theorems, the first of which is that if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then its opposite sides are congruent, which tells us this. So say we have our parallelogram. We have one pair of parallel sides and another pair of parallel sides. Then. The opposite sides are also congruent. So AB is congruent to CD, and BC is congruent to AD. Okay, so this was our first characteristic. Opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. The next char characteristic is theorem 8.4. If a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then it turns out that its opposite angles are congruent. So again, we'll have this set up with a parallelogram. One pair of parallel sides, two pair of parallel sides. This means that angle A is congruent to angle C, and angle B is congruent to angle D. All right, opposite sides are congruent, opposite angles are congruent. Using that knowledge, let's move on to an example. In the diagram below, I want you to solve for the missing values. So solve for x and solve for y. Take a moment, do this on your own first, pause the video and resume when you're ready to see the solution. All right, let's look at the x first. These are opposite sides, which tells us that CD is congruent to AB. Thus, x plus 4 must equal 12. So x equals 8. Now we can look at the opposite angles. Angle C is congruent to angle B, so y equals 65. And those are your answers. Alright, I'm going to save the other theorems for the next video in this section. If you're ready, if you feel really comfortable with these first two properties, opposite sides are congruent and opposite angles are congruent, then go on to the next video now.